Now we are station, Kina Pesa. Now we are station. Kina Pesa. 60? 50? 50. Okay. Ugh. That'll help. I walked this yesterday and uh, it wasn't that bad. But where I'm going, I'm gonna need to face some steps. Today we're gonna go check out Indian Gate. Let's do it. Hello. Camera hai kya hai? Eh? Camera ya? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a camera. Welcome to Malvia Negar Station. Let's uh, let's go take the Indian subway, shall we? Camera. On me. The stations, not bad, nice and clean. A lot cleaner than uh, the BART stations in San Francisco, that's for sure. Those are rough. So when you come here, you, uh, you arrive at the station right over there, and uh, you can take a, a rickshaw. There's plenty of guys out there wanting to give you a ride. And uh, well, this is the path right here. That's India Gate. I don't even know if you can see it, but it's way the hell down there. I'm using a Sony. Oh, Have you ever seen the Sony? No, no. It's nice. Oh, nice. The GoPro? Yep, GoPro. GoPro what? Uh, seven. Seven? Yeah. For like activities and things, the yep. GoPro is best. Yeah, exactly. So good, so and good. And this is for, like, mostly for the, uh, like, uh... It's a, it is a, uh, it, this is an action camera too. Okay. But the stabilization isn't as good as okay. the, uh, the GoPro. But for vlogging and things like this, yeah, exactly. I enjoy it. I am a vlogger, yes. Oh, what's your channel name? Channel name is Nick K. Nick K. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing today? So we are just skating. Just skating. I'm about to say so this are... is a a good place to come and skate, huh? Nice exactly. road, nice yeah. and smooth. Correct. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's have fun. Bye bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. This is the place to bring your longboard or your uh, your rollerblades or whatever. Cause look at this. Look at this stretch. But yeah, very quickly. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, I did go back to my Sony camera last year on the bike trip. I had switched to the GoPro I got a GoPro 11 and uh, Yeah, it worked because I was on a bike and I was doing some stuff that needed a good stabilization, but I'm going back to this kind of look this kind of feel for the videos and the Sony Is what I like Dang, I wish I could use one of these skateboards Damn, that's freaking big. <laughs> wow. So, if I were to ask you, how many Indians do you think fought in World War I? How many would you guess? 10,000, 100,000, excuse me. Try 1.4 million. When I read that, I couldn't believe it. 2.5 million fought in World War II. That is crazy. And uh, well, India Gate right here. This uh, this honors all the Indian fighters who fought in World War One in France and in all the other wars Britain was fighting. It's probably hard to see, but you can see their names engraved on the side on the brick right there. Yeah. So before I came to India, I watched a lot of videos and. Uh, there's a lady who does a lot of history stuff here in India. Her name is Kirthi. I watched a few of her videos and she, uh, she made a video talking about how she couldn't believe India was still doing these certain things 70 years after India gained its independence. And one of those things she mentioned 
was this path that I just walked on. For uh, 70 years, it was named Rajpat, meaning the king's path. Uh, for 70 years after India's independence, they had kept the name Rajpat. And it wasn't until, I think, just a couple years ago, in 2022, that they finally changed the name to, uh, uh, what's it called, Kartvia, Kartvia Path, maybe? But it took them seven decades to change the name, right? Another thing she mentions in uh, the video, this statue over here, I believe it was right here, this statue was changed in 1968. Before that, it was a statue of King George V. And so, for roughly 20 years after India had gained its independence, they had still left a statue of King George V over here. That's kind of crazy, right? When you think about countries or, uh, you know, young nations or anyone, like, gaining their independence for the first time, overthrowing their suppressors, uh, that's usually the first thing to go, right? Uh, statues and flags and anything that reminds them of their their uh, previous tyrannical rulers and whatnot, you know? And so, hey, there's the skaters again. And this guy right here, I think his name is Bose. He, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he is somewhat, not a controversial figure. I mean, who is not controversial in these days, but... I believe in World War II, he had actually sided with the Axis powers, um, with Germany and Japan, from what I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's kind of his, uh, maybe, not stain on his legacy, but hello. Hi. Hi. Indian flight, oh. I'm teacher. School fund, baby school, I'm teacher, uh -huh. orphan school. Oh, nice. Thank you so Donation. much. Donation. I'll give you... Yeah. What's in my pocket? Yeah. Let's see here. 250, 500 rupees, no problem. How about? Which country? I'm from America. Oh, very nice. I have 10 rupees. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, I got me a nice India flag. Okay. And where was I? Okay, so yeah, the things she talked about in this video that were surprising that India was still doing. 70 years after they won their independence. First one, the name of this road. The second one, this statue that was changed uh, from King George V. There was another thing that she mentioned during uh, the Republic Day here in India. For 70 years, they would play the same hymn, the same song that was played during Queen Elizabeth's wedding, like a Christian a Christian hymn or a Christian anthem. And so, on Republic Day here, they would play this song. <laughs> and they finally changed that. Hmm. Is there anything else cool to see around here? I know there's a statue back there. It looks like this park goes on for quite a while. But I'm getting hungry and uh, I think it's time to fill the belly. I still haven't had butter chicken. <laughs> so, uh, Let's go find some butter chicken. That sounds delicious. Uh, I'll leave a link to uh, the video that I was uh, referring to. Her name's Perthy History. She got some good stuff. Um, she goes in and talks about a few other things. But I won't go into all of them. I'll let her explain that to you. But uh, let's get on out of here. Main Mujhe walking pasand hai. Walking. Walking. Gumi gumi. Thank you though. So, uh, the Airbnb I'm staying at, the guy taught me a, uh, a new word. Gumi gumi. I think it's kind of similar to Jalan Jalan. And so, I'm going to start saying Gumi gumi and hopefully people know what I'm talking about because Jalan Jalan is the most convenient phrase you can know in, uh, in Indonesia. Hey, what are you doing? Where are you going? Jalan Jalan. Oh, okay. Have a good day. Ooh, would I like one of those helicopters? Whoa. Nice. Okay. Abi, kush nahi chahiye.
Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Only small price. Ah. Uh, Fifty rupees. Three piece and two. One piece gift. Ah, we could not eat. Come, Logan. Come, Logan. And so, one last thing I'd like to just close up. Yes. A lot of people want to clean your ears out here. Ah. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. Nice chai. No, thank you. No, it's okay. It's okay. And so. Ah, no, thank you. No, thank you. I saw you a lot of players. Ah, I'm walking. I'm making a video. Walking is not possible. If you give me some hours, uh, I show you Gandhi House, uh, Palace, Parliament. Sounds nice, but no Gandhi thank you. House. Nah, no thank you. Uh, good food opportunity for you, yes. if you like. Mm. Mujhe, know, mujhe, you mujhe walking pasand hai. Ah. Taking video <laughs> pasand hai. You, you thank from, you. You uh. go by auto rickshaw, make ah. a video, lot of place. I'm making video on ah, Kadhiya Path. You go to the make a... Video Gandhi House, Indira Gandhi Museum, Lodi Garden, nice video, that message. Uh, I'm sure I can make some beautiful videos, thank you. I have to go. Ah, uh, it's okay, I have uh, two legs. No <laughs> So, where was that? Let's get on the other side. What are people selling out here? One of these uh, gold. What is it gold? Uh, gold gappa? Gold gappa here. Gold gappa here, huh? Ah, uh, no, thank you, no, thank you. Ah, uh, bad me, bad me, bad me. Push na hi chahiye. Ah, it's okay. Mujhe, mujhe walking for song here. I know, I've done it. It's a long way. Thank you, chai. Mm, get some chai. Only one cup, Indian tea. No, thank you. Okay. I'm trying to, trying to wrap this video up. Okay, let's get over here. Let's get out of the middle. Like I was trying to say, when the British, when they left, I think they were trying to leave in the best way possible. You know, they were trying to wash their hands of all the dirty deeds they've done, they had done over the last 300, 400 years, right? And so they, uh, they tried to kind of save face, so to speak, you know. And compared to the Dutch who, well, when they came back after World War II, they tried to take Indonesia by force and there was a nasty war. There really wasn't a war here in Indonesia. I'm sorry, here in India. I'm going to do that a lot. There was no independence war where thousands of people lost their lives. Uh, you know, there was the, the non-violence and non-cooperation movement led by Gandhi. The, you know, the whole, that was the whole thing here. And so the way the British left and the Dutch left were very different. And so I think the British, yeah, they just tried to act like everything was cool. We're actually doing this for uh, your best interest. And uh, yeah, we can still be friends, right? <laughs> is what I think they were trying to trying to do. And so I spent a lot of time in Indonesia and I learned a lot about how they were colonized by the Dutch. And so when I was getting ready to come here and I was learning about the British colonial past here, one thing that really stuck out and kind of surprised me was just how many Indians here fought for the British. Uh, you know, when I was thinking back, I was like, wait a second, did, did any of the local population in Indonesia, did they fight for the Dutch? And I couldn't remember, I went back in my notes and they didn't. It wasn't until Japan came in 1942 and overthrew the Dutch. It wasn't until then that the, the local population in, in Indonesia were, uh, were trained and included in the military and so the British and the Dutch just had two very different approaches I mean 2.5 million Indians fought in World War II that's crazy okay let's uh let's get off this subject and go have some lunch let's do it well, would you look at that there are monkeys out here 
I thought about uh, sitting down in the grass over here, but it's wet. It's actually pretty far. Those two, not two, two, those rickshaw drivers have a point. <laughs> They're like, it's pretty far. Are you sure you don't want to ride? Is your name Kai? Hello, Tiki. Hello, Tiki. Tiki. All right, what a view.